Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tammy S. If this is your first time stopping by, hi, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome because I am doing awesome actually. <laughs> this video was meant to go up on Sunday and I'm refilming it today, Sunday again because I tried to put it up for whatever reasons it got corrupted I don't quit so I am doing it again and I am putting it back up this video is me showing you guys how to clone yourself in a picture you having four of you in one picture five of you in one picture six of you in one picture depending on the environment or wherever you plan to shoot your pictures today I'm going to be shooting mine in my kitchen area and I would show you guys how I go about it, how I edit it and I'm just going to give you guys like a behind the scenes so you guys can do it. You guys don't need Photoshop for this. You don't need Photoshop. I'm going to do everything on my iPhone and yeah, basically that's what this video is going to be all about. I hope you guys enjoy it. You guys, please let this video be worth it. I'm doing this again. <laughs> Help. I'm going to insert a picture of the one I, that was supposed to go yesterday. Although I kind of not like the picture anymore. So, I want to do something else. Same outfit, but something else. Guys, let's get to work. I'm done with all the pictures now and I sent everything to my phone. I am going to now go into the half we need. In case you guys are hearing any car sounds or car onk or whatever, you can hear car onk anyways. It's because I am sitting right in front of my house. <laughs> and <laughs> that's because we have 12 degrees and we don't get that all the time. So this is luxury and I'm planning to mail kids today. I'm just going to give you guys a rundown on how to edit this. You guys saw that I was actually taking the pictures like one after the other, but we're going to make everything into one picture. So half you need for this is Snapseed. So if you don't have Snapseed on your phone, you can as well go download it from your app store. I don't know if it works for Android. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I have an iOS and it works on my iOS. So download Snapseed first. Then you open your device, your camera device, and um, you literally pick whatever picture you want and you work with it. So the first picture, we're just going to pick on the first picture. I'll pick on any one because I literally edited the one I wanted already, but I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing. So you pick this one. After picking it, you go to tools. 
you go to double exposure with the double exposure there's this plus sign here you click on the plus sign that way you can add additional photos if you want that's the point right so you had additional photos um so click on any photo you see that it kind of blurs out the two pictures so you click on this um overall sign here i don't know if this whatever sign this is click on it you increase the opacity all the way up that way when you do that you click on okay so you're going to have just one picture in the scene now so to bring the second picture back you go to this um sign hop here you go to view edits you click on the double exposure you click on the paint so you literally paint the second picture back into the picture that's what happens so you could just tap on it to bring the picture back not and that's it you tap on it to bring the picture back you click ok so you have both pictures on the scene and you literally do that for like all the other pictures but let's do that again and again so you guys can get it so you click on tools again double exposure click on plus sign and let's click on the third picture the third picture um we're going to increase the opacity all the way up we'll say yes go to this sign view edits double exposure the paint brush then just tap on the picture and it brings it back actually you could zoom all the way in if it's going to overlap on the second one so you zoom all the way in so that doesn't happen make sure you paint it properly so yeah so we have the second picture in scene already now oh no i did something wrong okay so let's do that again the third picture the fourth picture i mean so you can see we have three pictures in scene now so we're going to go back tools double exposure again click the plus button let's just click on anyone here actually anyone anyone since this is not the real picture i'm using actually so yeah you click all the way up yes go to this button view edits double exposure you paint then you paint the picture back into the scene and you have it so all pictures are back in the scene and this is what it's going to look like then you just export it you save the picture very simple you modify it then you go out you go to your lightroom you go to your lightroom i use lightroom to edit my pictures so you go to your lightrooms you had the photo from your edits from your camera roll you then you put your presets or any how you want to edit your picture if you don't use lightroom any how you edit your pictures so that's just how to clone yourself then you edit your pictures in wherever you edit your pictures i do mine in lightroom and voila that's it so guys if you guys found this informative give me a, give me a like button give me blow me a kiss <laughs> in the comment section below tell me whatever just tell me whatever actually and guys i actually do need I need composition words from you guys. You guys plant suya or whatever in the comment section below. I'm picking up. And yeah, you guys know my first video got deleted. And <laughs> I need you guys to console me because I need those words right now. So guys, yeah. Thank you so much for your love and support on all my videos. I expect a vlog soon. And I'm going to see you guys in my next one. If you like this video, like I always say, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not, give me a comment, share my videos with your friends, and it's a wrap. I love you too. Bye.